Hello friends. Hi, it's me, Brie. I'm back. I have new hair and it's been a month. So welcome to my wrap up. Hi, if you're new here or hey, if you've been here before, we're going to, we're going to do this fast this time, like legit, because your girl has no time. <laughs> and God, I just, I want to get back to filming so bad, but I don't know how to get there. So bear with me as I grab my bearings. And welcome to a video that I'm gonna post and we're gonna talk about the books I read, the things I wrote, and some personal life tidbits. So let's just jump into it. Alright, to start we're gonna just do the books I read because look I own all these books. We're getting better at this. So I read four books in the month of September and most of them are pretty good. I'm gonna start by I got The Shift by Tinks. I have no idea who Tinks is. I got this because it was given to me uh, through request. <laughs> but I thought I could help my clients because it's about like getting self-worth in the dating scene. Something that I have not needed to do in 12 years. <laughs> so this does not apply to me at all. It is a like dummy version of cognitive behavioral therapy and specifically a tool we use in therapy called reframing where you are taking your thoughts and you're shifting them into something that's more positive and suitable for you so if i'm saying like i hate myself and i'm terrible it could be like you're shifting into i made a mistake and we can move on from that this is basically that and it's okay but i do think it could be helpful in conjunction with therapy but it might be hard to utilize this if you don't know how and why you're using it to begin with, which this lacks because Tinks is an influencer, not a therapist. Then I finished The uh, Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, Utter Perfection. Our book club is amazing. I feel like you guys are missing out. So if you wanna join our Tolkien book club, we have finished the trilogy, but we are moving into The Hobbit and we will be reading The Hobbit and having a discussion in December. Link is always down below. Come join us because this has been one of the funnest experiences I've had sharing this book series for the first time with people. And I can't wait to keep reading and talking about it. Then I read Our Crooked Hearts by Melissa Albert. I love Melissa Albert. She wrote The Hazelwood and its sequel. And oh, like she is so good at spooky. This is a young adult and somehow it's just perfection. Uh, she's one of those authors that I will pick up automatically because I just think she's great. And this follows two different timelines, a past and a present. There's some spooky things happening. We have family secrets. We have mysterious things coming up in the woods like naked women. <laughs> it's great. And uh, it's a little bit witchy and I loved it. Uh, I highly recommend for the spooky season. And last but not least, we have the Stygian Collection. I finally read this bad boy cover to cover and it was pretty good I'm not gonna lie yes my story is in it and honestly I don't even know like even reading this now I don't even know if it's the strongest story I've written to be honest but I do love my story and I'm proud of it and I'm happy it's in this collection not every story was for me because of my personal taste I'm not gonna lie but I was surprised how many stories in the later half of the book that I really enjoyed. I think just the tone and like the topic because it is separated into three sections and the devil's bargain like making deals with the devil and the next world which was kind of like weirder out there stories those just really spoke to me a lot and overall this was good. I'm just so happy to be a part of it and if you haven't got your copy it is on sale in the month of October. You can get 13% off, you know, Friday the 13th spooky season. And you can also get a bunch of goodies for 13% off. So link is in my description for that. Anything you order off the website will be discounted. So it might be a good time to buy your copy. And that is all the books I read. Pretty simple and easy and I love them. And I've been reading a lot more and I'm so excited. So next I'm gonna talk about my personal life because I don't have too many and I want to make sure that I talk about my writing last because that's so exciting. So for personal life, I really don't have much um, other than I changed my hair again. I, for whatever reason, got an itch to go dark brunette <laughs> and knowing that I had a wedding coming up and that I just was kind of, it, it was a lot to keep up with the purple. So I went dark and I'm loving it. I love this color. Probably looks better in person than it might on camera. I don't know, we'll have to see, but I like it. So I hope you guys like it too. And 
other than that, I started a new job in September and really that's, that's where I've been. I have been adjusting to my new job. It is crazy that it's already been through like two weeks, three weeks. And I don't even know how <laughs> it's been a harder adjustment from leaving my job into moving into my new job than I expected. Very positive, but it's different schedule. I'm expected to work a later night. So I have one day where I don't go in until 10 o'clock in the morning. That is strange. I have been primarily working with adults, which is a huge difference <laughs> because I only worked with kids really before and occasionally their parents, but primarily their kids. So everything is like really different. I've also am just pretty much doing my thing. Like I am the therapist. I control my schedule. I control who I'm seeing. I control when I, I control everything, you know? So it's just been an adjustment and my brain has been really like focusing in on that. So I've been absent on YouTube again. It was not my intention. I really wanted to film, but I had a lot of brain power going in there. On another personal note though, physical therapy has helped me a lot. I am sitting pain-free. I am pretty much pain-free every single day. And I just have to be careful that I don't hurt my back by overdoing it. But I am looking forward to hopefully in November getting back into yoga and some easier habits. I've been walking more, trying to strengthen my back, and I've been doing exercises from physical therapy, and that is going really great, and I'm really happy for myself in that department. On the other side with my partner, my partner is finally getting answers. The one main thing that we found out is that he has celiac disease, so we are gluten-free now. <laughs> that has also been a huge change and partly, again, why I've been absent because adjusting to a new diet has been insane. It's it, you trying to figure out like what you can eat, what you can eat. If you eat something wrong, then he has a reaction. It is insane. And also I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> I'm trying to be mostly gluten-free with him. Uh, I'm not great fully because of life things and going out and having weddings to go to, but I'm hoping to be mostly gluten-free. I may also end up getting tested myself because celiacs runs in my family and my mother has it. So I would love to live a little bit, but I do have some stomach issues. So it could very well be that, <laughs> uh, but we'll see. So right now we finally are getting some answers and we are adjusting in a lot of ways that we didn't expect. So that's been my personal life. <laughs> How are things going for everyone else in their lives? Has it been a really weird couple weeks for people or is it just me? I feel like there's something in the air. Anyway, so lastly, because I'm speeding through this and I really don't have a ton of updates to be honest, but let's talk about my writing. So if you haven't been here in a bit or you missed my last wrap up, cause that one was quite long. I did two months, I'm sorry but I have a story coming out in October. So in September, I was really just focusing on my short story craft because I kind of got a writing high off of submitting and getting accepted into Havoc. That story is coming out on October 26th, by the way. It'll be free that day and that day only. It's only a couple dollars to have a membership, but if you miss the day, then you have to buy the membership to read it after that. So either consider supporting Havoc because that is, you know, a great way to support small publishings. And uh, if not, look for it when it's free on the 26th of October. It'll be free all day. That aside, in September, I continued writing some short stories or editing short stories for submission. I also was back at it with the poetry again. So I kind of had the decision that I wanted to try speculative poetry. I love poetry and I write a lot of personal poetry, but I've never tried speculative poetry and I, I took a stab at it. I wrote two poems. I am personally very proud of those poems. However, I also understand that they're probably, one is probably not as speculative as the other. The other one I loved, but ultimately they both got rejected. 
so be it you know we live and we learn i feel like poetry is so much harder for me to accept rejection for like not that i'm not accepting it but it's so personal for me so the fact that people reject it stings more than anything like i've gotten like tons of query rejections for my novels that i was spent months to years working on and my poetry getting rejected after you know just two weeks like hurts harder but we got rejected and we live and we learn but i have been crafting more poems non-speculative these are like normal poetry i guess if you will i'm submitting a couple poems to two different places and i'm really excited one is for an anthology the other one is full mood mag and i am very excited to hopefully submit those as well so i have a couple pieces there's gonna be like you know five to five to seven i think poems that i've been working on or editing so I'm very excited. I love the poems again. And if not, these are all going to end up adding to my poetry collection one way or another, probably that'll come out eventually. So that's that. Otherwise, I don't think I have too much news. My most of my time I, I have written two more short stories. One was flash fiction, one was micro fiction. The flash fiction was submitted. The due date was September 30th. I do not think it's going to get accepted. Full disclosure, because I don't think it's literary enough. The magazine that I submitted to was Apex Magazine. I'm a subscriber, I love them, they're so beautiful. While I think I could eventually write literary fantasy, horror, science fiction, I don't think this story was it. But I, I loved it and I needed to write it, so I just submitted it because it was based on their flash fiction theme, which was necromancy, and I loved it. So I submitted that. And then I also wrote one for Crepuscular, which is a micro fiction, and I really, really love that story. And that doesn't open until October 13th, so I haven't submitted that yet, but I wrote it. So we were in writing still, and I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying the editing process. I've been enjoying working with some of my writing friends who have just given me such good feedback. Like truthfully, they're godsends. I love them. And I'm so happy that they're always willing to give me feedback on these stories. I also decided to submit a critique for my nano project. So like two years ago, has it been two years ago? Jesus, it might've been a year ago. I don't know, but I started a vampire novel. I really loved that first chapter, but then I kind of just stopped writing it for some reason or another. And oh, it was because I was writing my rom-com with my friend. I ended up focusing only on the rom-com and not the vampire novel. But that's going to be my nano project for 2023. I'm very excited to get back into it. I have so many ideas. It's been buzzing around in my head. But because of that, I decided that I wanted to, there was a, you submitted 250 words of whatever. It could be a short story, a novel, etc. If it was kind of in like the horror speculative genre, and my vampire novel is. So I decided to submit my first 250 words for an open critique on if the judges would continue reading, what they liked about it, what they didn't like about it, and how, if it worked for them. And if I get picked for that, then that'll be mid-October. I think October 24th, I think that's going live. So we'll see. I'm really excited for the feedback because professional feedback for free is for me. <laughs> That has been my entire September in writing. We had some losses, we had some wins, I had some good times. I'm also still very, very slowly critiquing for somebody and I feel awful that my life has been so up in the air that I haven't been able to get all of that out, but overall, it's happening, it's happening. It's just slow. <laughs> so my goal would actually be to, by the end of October to finish that so I can focus only on my nano project in November. But, I have other short story ideas happening and I want to write some of them by the end of the year and I hope that it's probably not going to happen in October but I hope in November I will be hosting a live stream or two on my channel and then maybe in December I will be able to do my review revise submit series again when I'm finally in a good groove of my life so that's me hi I'm going to have a vlog soon. I promise it's going to happen. I also have two ideas um, plus a tag video that my bestie Autumn Ashley did and I want to steal that and do it myself. So I'm hoping to have some videos out this month and hopefully take you along on some writing and fun journeys with me. So 
How have you guys been? I miss you guys. I hope you miss me. I hope I'm not like withering away into the void, but let me know how your month was. How was September? How was the end of summer for you guys? Did you do anything fun? Did you write anything good? Did you read anything good? Let me know. And that's all I have today. So it was nice chatting and catching up. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.